bath and like a cup of coffee in the morning. All right, I'm gonna head upstairs. Um, I'm gonna pack my fishing poles. I got my hoodie, my beanie, got my backpack. I got everything that I need, um, except my phone and some other essentials. I'm gonna pack that stuff up and then I'm gonna get to fishing. So I'll see y'all when I'm catching fish. Super bright, very cool and breezy morning. Super beautiful outside right now. It's supposed to be windy and rainy today, but I mean, obviously that didn't look like it happened. You can see the sun's rising in the east, and then the uh, wind is coming from the west. So fishing today actually shouldn't be too bad. Um, I'm gonna go grab my coffee cup and stuff, and then we're gonna hit the road. And I love like the different, you can see all the different levels. Yeah, there's color like, gradients. Yeah, there's like really deep red, yellow, light blue, dark blue. Midwestern sunrise. <laughs> Alright, we've made it to the pond. Let me very quickly show you guys my setup here. So, this little Helgramite book being a 16th ounce black chick head, 10 pound braid, sorry, 8 pound braid on a medium light pole. That's what I'm fishing today. I'm going to stick with this setup, the 10 pound with the medium light, and I'm just going to be changing out lures periodically. So, without further ado, let's go catch some fish. That's where I'm going to try and get to uh, fish. Every single time I've come to this pond, I go to that side, and there's always a fish hiding over there. Whether it be a small crop here, a uh, small crappie, a little bass. It's a fish, and that's what matters. I got my muck boots on today. I'm going to be able to step into the water a little bit better uh, than yesterday. You guys really got to go check out that video. I caught the biggest crappie I've ever caught in my entire life. He was a foot long. A foot long crappie. Uh, I know to some people, maybe down in like Alabama, Tennessee, like that's not big. That's actually pretty like me. But, like seriously, for here, dude, out of a tiny little highway pond that's not stocked, a foot long crappie is good because we didn't know if there was fish in there anymore. But I'm sorry I keep boring you guys talking to the camera and stuff. Let me get fishing. Right here at the fishing spot. Oh, I got my coffee in my bag. And my uh, alarm just went off. Sun's officially out. Up and over the horizon. Bass. First fish of the day on my Nico Helgramite Ned Rig with a largemouth bass. He's kind of a cute guy. I like catching bass. They're some of my favorite fish to catch, honestly. Crappie are, have slowly become my favorite, but largemouth definitely still are on the top five podium. So uh, I'm going to get this guy back in the water and uh, keep fishing. There it goes. There's my fish. That was a fun fight for the morning. Now if I catch him uh, anymore, it's pure fun. We've made it to the crazy bass and crappie pond. Nobody's here fishing, so we're going to start fishing. This was where we wanted to come originally. 
Um, the wind is fallacious right now. That's probably why nobody's fishing. But me and the old dad are gonna we're gonna brave it. So wish us luck. First fish, guys. Makes up for that little bass. I mean, I love catching bass, but I honestly did come here for the crappie. My dad's the bass master. <laughs> uh, let's get this guy back in the water, shall we? And there he goes. Back off to the depths. Even with the 16 pounds, you're still landing them bass. Check it out, guys. Look at this freaking bass. Look at that sucker. This guy. He's probably a good 12 inches. Look at that fish. Look at that big fish. He's a good one. Yeah, he's real good, dude. Nice catch. <laughs> What's this for a catch? That was fun. He's cute. Man, you guys see that stripe there? Beautiful striped bass. Just a tiny guy. Let's get him back in the water. That was a fun fight. The fishing isn't as turned on as it was yesterday. Yesterday it was a lot less windy and it was a lot warmer.
That's maybe a turtle right there. Yeah, that's a turtle. Turtle fucking got here. Okay, I put you guys on my chest. It's going to be a lot windier audio-wise. Sorry about that, but I had a big scare with my tripod tipping over and landing in this puddle right here. It scared the hell out of me because my GoPro itself is waterproof, but the $120 top microphone I have and the $80 mi uh, microphone or the $80 Hero Mod accessory is not waterproof. So, that scared me really bad. It's a little easier to change spots now that I don't have my tripod. I just have to get my stuff. Oh. Damn near to the other side there. Oh, Dad. Oh, yeah. I got Mac Daddy on. I got Mac of Daddy. Oh, -ho! Oh, he is a shocker. Come on up, baby. Ooh, he's pretty. Nope. Just come on over here for me. There you go. Thanks, bud. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Big pregnant. Oh, yeah. Pregnant. Lots of eggs. Okay, go. Well, that was some pretty fun fishing. I don't know about y'all, but I don't usually catch fish like that. Uh, you're like big old bass and big old black crappie. Like uh, in yesterday's video, I caught some crazy freaking uh, crappie. Now I'm catching some big old bass. Man, it's fun. I love bass fishing, crappie fishing especially. I think I'm gonna call it a day here. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna keep fishing. If we keep fishing, I'll continue the video. But um, it's been a great day of fishing so far. I don't see the need to continue recording. I think I'm just gonna fish for fun for now, uh, from now on, so. I appreciate everybody who watches the videos. Uh, stay tuned, I got more coming. It's, it's warming up, as you can see. The weather's getting better, so I'm making more videos.